Hey, I finally hit 4,000 subs on YouTube, so, so to celebrate, I am not doing a beer review. Instead, I'm going to compare two bourbons. So I have Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 40% alcohol, 80 proof. And I also have Buffalo Trace. This is uh, 90 proof. This is the one uh, Joe Rogan plugs on his show. So... I don't know, maybe you could just call this a tasting. I'm probably not going to give these a score or a grade or anything like that. Um, I do enjoy bourbon and whiskey, you know, from time to time. Especially like an eggnog <laughs> during Christmas. Or just like in a cream soda or something like that. So I'm going to get these in the glass and we'll get right back to tasting. Let's start with the Jim Beam. This one. I would say it's very vanilla. I mean, definitely the alcohol comes through, but duh. <laughs> This one's vanilla. It's kind of sweet. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say smoky. It's quite woody. I saw in the uh, the 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 bottle it said aged for four years. This has a little bit of like the paint thinner kind of thing going, but otherwise, it smells pretty nice. So let's give a Buffalo Trace. This is my first time having Buffalo Trace, by the way. Okay, so this one, it's it's very similar, but this one has a bit of a, more of a... I'd say the alcohol is, like, even more prominent here. I mean, it's a clean alcohol. I mean, it has, like, that kind of, you know, paint thinner kind of thing going, but... I'd say this one is not as sweet <clears throat> as the Jim Beam, just off the nose, but... This has, like, this, like, kind of rustic kind of smell. I'd say it's probably, like, very woody, like, maybe almost like a little... A little bit of a spice or something to it, but yeah. Um, all right, so let's give it a taste. We'll start with the Jim Beam. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Just off that little sip alone, kind of cleared up my sinuses. Obviously, I mean, you saw from the bottle that was <clears throat> almost empty. So I have had this bourbon many times. I think it's a great uh, bourbon to, uh, like I said, Christmas with eggnog, although I usually do almond nog, just straight up Coke, or actually, you know, it's actually the best is like cream soda or ginger ale. Yeah, this one, I would say the Jim Beam, it, it tastes the way it smells. It's for a bourbon, it's, you know, it's a little sweet, or at least in my, you know, I really have a, like a whole lot of frame of reference, so. I mean, I would say for a strong liquor, it's quite sweet. By the way, we didn't really do a, uh, you know, appearance on here, but I'd probably call it like a deep gold. Yeah, deep gold, slight amber, very clear. You can see the alcohol legs on my little taster glass. Yeah, so I really, I like that, <coughs> the vanilla character on this one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's vanilla. I mean, like if you ever had, and you've seen on my show, I've reviewed many, many bourbon barrel stouts and quads and things like that. You tend to get vanilla and woody character off of anything that's bourbon barrel aged. I would say like this tastes, you know, very uh, refined, I guess. It's not like you're licking the inside of a barrel. A lot of like cheaper bourbon barrel beers, they taste like that. It just tastes like really rustic. This one is... You know, like I said, a bit of vanilla, sweet. It doesn't to me, there's nothing artificial about this one at all. I mean, shouldn't be. I mean, it's just they said straight, straight bourbon, so they didn't add any flavors or anything to it. So let's give the buffalo, yeah, buffalo trace a try. Cheers again. By the way, before we get into it, let's look at the color on this one. So this one is a little bit darker. That's more on the amber side, whereas the Jim Beam is just kind of like a a deep gold. So I'm trying to get like a white background yeah this is more on the honey amber kind of color i mean it's 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 just as clear and you can see the alcohol legs on this one so let's give this one a try cheers hmm all right the first thing i noticed is that the mouthfeel on the buffalo trace is like a, is noticeably thicker the Jim Beam kind of has like the viscosity of, I don't know, it's like it's a little bit more than water, obviously, but this one is 
even thicker than that. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as say it's like syrupy, but it, like it, just enough that like I really notice like the mouthfeel on this one. Again, I would not call this one sweet. This is 90 proof. The Jim Beam is only 80 proof. It's all, I mean, it's only a difference of 5% ABV. But this one just strikes me as being, I can tell it's stronger. Although, oddly enough, the Jim Beam was clearing my sinuses, like, just off the first sip and, like, on every sip. And this one, I would say, is much smoother. Like, it's not it's not burning my nose or anything like that. But I would say the <coughs> Buffalo Trace is noticeably stronger, uh, pretty much all aspects. So, like, this is, this is, this is definitely less sweet than the Jim Beam, but it has, like, more of, like, an authentic... I, tell this, I, I probably call this one, like, a little more woody, maybe slightly, like, rustic. I don't know if I'd go as far as, say, like, spicy, like, as far as, like, peppercorn or or rye or anything like that. Yeah, almost a little, almost a little maple-y on the Buffalo Trace. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. And this is my first time having Buffalo Trace. Um, going back to the Jim Beam, notice right away... The difference in the mouthfeel, the Jim Beam is thinner. Um, obviously, these are not carbonated, but uh, um, I'm going to say the Buffalo Trace is much more warming. Even though, it's like I said, it's only a difference of 5% ABV, the difference between 80 and 90 proof. Like, this is really lighting up my throat here. Um, I mean, I can drink this straight, no problem. I think this probably, and I'll have to try it off camera. I will try it, like, with a soda or something like that but yeah i like it so i mean i'm not doing ratings on this one i mean if i had to do a rating then they both get thumbs up from me but um yeah i mean i'm glad i got to try it so this is like a new experimental thing i'm going to try to do from now on maybe i'll just get like some of those little sampler like you know shot thing like you would get like on an airplane you know most liquor stores sell them they're like you know it's just a shot in a little bottle so I don't have to commit to an entire, you know, $50 bottle or something. So yeah, just nice, uh, interesting contrast between Jim Beam and Buffalo Trace. If you want sweet, go with the Jim Beam. If you want like more, you know, like I guess this would be like a sweet stout and this would be like the Imperial Stout. If that's the, that's the, that's the best analogy I can come up with. So if you watch all of the end, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys for the next beer review. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.